this. This is what we use to uh, do the digital calibration. And this is what I want to talk about today. We're going to do a lot of tests and we're going to show how it looks like before we do the digital calibration. And we're going to use uh, three Profoto lights. I'm going to uh, use non exposure for the camera, so I'm going to, to trigger all of the cameras at the same moment in pitch black. Then Kim is jumping, I'm triggering the I'm pop up the flash. I'm <laughs> Do that again? So you're basically doing a long exposure, you're triggering the cameras, yeah. and then you're flashing so to freeze the moment. Yeah, and then I release the camera, so I have two remotes. I could do it with one, but I, I'm more precise if I can give you a countdown for the flash. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, the fog machine is ready, the three flashes are okay, cameras are calibrated. These are uh, the 120 frames and the settings for this shot are F9, shooting in bold mode, ISO 100, um, shooting in raw mode, it's taking uh, 90 seconds to get the preview, uh, white balance flash but we can change it anyway. Uh, mirrors are not locked because I'm using the bulb, so if I um, turn on the light, I'm using this remote to trigger the cameras and then this one for the flash and the power bar on the flash is at 70% on each of them and I have three of those per photo 1000 watts and this is uh, our calibration bar we have one flashlight on each end. This is a T12 tube. This is the same thing that we use uh, to do light painting. We just covered with black tape and yellow tape for the two markers. This, the one in the middle is just for us to frame. The software only reads these two markers and this is what is leveling all of the images. So here you can see the shot before calibration. As you can see, it's a bit bumpy. The more precise we are, the like manual calibration, like the, the, the pre-calibration, and the less crop we will get on the, uh, on the end result. So here it's the calibrated version, and then the color corrected one. Because uh, I took the 120 images, I got them inside the Lightroom, and then I regenerated my movie. Of course, this is not what we do in live events. In live events, we take the picture in a smaller resolution and the MP4 is ready right away, ready to be shared ready on the, on our, on the sharing station. So the folks can get the video, the MP4, by email. Okay, let's do a last one. 